hey folks in 2022 on this channel i said i wanted to do product reviews gaming reviews and opinion pieces on real world situations and some talking head videos today is one of those talking head videos if you enjoy this long form discussion then leave a comment leave a like subscribe all that good stuff let's get into the video so today's video i'm going to redact names and i'm not going to show anything on screen previously um i probably would have just shown everything out to the world but I don't want to do that. This is just a learning exercise and a chat for my followers. And it's not trying to be some like weird punishment. It's the usual internet drama. By the way, the dog's asleep in the bed. So I'm excuse the mess. One person wants to talk about one topic. The other person doesn't like the fact that they're talking about that topic. What's the issue? Well, the issue is the person that was trying to gatekeep me discussing this topic was who I would class as a maybe... An acquaintance somebody i knew um never really spoke too personally we've never had a phone call with them or anything like that but i knew of them and i'd spoke to them in quite some trusted manner for a little bit of time and i was surprised that this person would go ahead and not just open up the floodgates for people to shit on me but also to not back me up that i think that was the most surprising thing so here's the uh, rundown. Last year, um, I noticed this person was struggling a lot um, online. Mental health, um, depression, just general issues. Not quite right. Some of the posts weren't quite sitting with me right. And I've always tried to be on this channel, talk about mental health. And obviously, you know me for the past 12 months, I've had a load of hate thrown towards me. And I still get it, um, as you can see by this video. So I'm very aware that, you know, you should try to practice what you preach. So here's what I said to this person. I said, hi, name, just wanted to reach out and ask if everything's okay. I've read a few of your statuses and posts, and I just wanted to check. Um, I've personally been through a lot of bad times. And as a result, I've actually been a lot more met, uh, open about mental health. Um, and I tried to talk about it. I've cried on my stream. I've cried on my YouTube channel. I've tried to be open and show that I'm a real person and explain feelings and how people can make people feel. And the reason I'm mentioning this to you is because I've always given the advice of, oh, if you're struggling, you should reach out and talk. But I know that's difficult. And I know some people don't have people to talk to about this topic. So if you want to speak about anything, um, I'm there. And I wanted to do that. I'm I'm sorry if I got the wrong end of the stick, but I just wanted to message. So the reason I've laid out my message that way is I want to give some personal touch because I don't really know that person. Um, I want to explain that I've been through this sort of stuff before. You don't have to go through it alone. And also, you know, I'm, some people just have a bad day. It doesn't mean they're down. Some people just have a bad week. It doesn't mean they're depressed. So I just said, look, if I've got the wrong end of the stick and you're absolutely fine and you're just having a bad day, that's fine. Just just ignore the message, you know. Um. So I got a response back. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hey, life has got me feeling really down and depressed. Um, I'm on higher dose depression tablets. Hopefully they'll work. I'm appreciating your messages. I hope you're doing okay too. So I thought to myself, oh, well, you know, not to pat myself on the back, but I was pretty pleased I reached out because I thought, oh, this person isn't feeling that great. And, you know, I've been in that situation where someone's reached out to me and I've thought, oh, it's nice that someone reached out. And I, I sort of left it at that, um, you know, and it's important that I don't put these things on social media and it's important that I don't post these things and be like, hey, guys, I just helped somebody with depression because that just ain't cool. That's just like... That's like you're trying to do it for brownie points. It's like donating to charity to showcase you've donated to charity and not because you believe in the cause type of thing. So, I've, you know, a lot of people don't see this side to me. I try to keep it private. To not reveal kind of who I'm talking to, there are some conversations I will have to leave out. Basically, we had a chat about some mutual acquaintances. This person goes on to say, basically, oh, that person is a loser. I agree. Blah, blah, blah. Hope everything's fine. Yada, yada, yada. Regular Joe acquaintances. That's it. Nothing crazy. Then we have a post which is like, by the way, fuck anyone who's got you feeling down. Um, 
good on you for x and y that we were talking about i hope you're feeling okay i'm also here if you need anything so it was kind of like extending an olive branch back and forth right thanks a lot for the message i said um i'll be honest with you i don't tell many people this but i do go through a lot of dark patches and i've been through them enough to know that i'll actually come out of the other side but that wasn't always the case and to be honest a lot of the time it doesn't make it any easier you're still feeling down and depressed even though you know in a few months time you're going to feel okay if you know what i mean now this is a, a relative stranger that I'm sharing this conversation with. And I'm also putting it out on the internet because it's important for me to be open and honest and be a real person. And it's important for you to see, you know, that kind of side. Um, you know, yep, I understand. Um, it's hard to see the positives when you're down. Um, you know, is there anything blah, 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 we can do, I can do, etc. This person messages me and says, I've got emotional pain. I'm struggling. I don't want to bore you with my shit, which is my indication of like, I'm trying to reach out, but I don't really want to reach out and splurge a load of stuff out if you're not feeling it. And I'm like, yo, just tell me, like, if you're feeling emotional pain and you're feeling struggle, like, just tell me, Um, you know, it keeps resurfacing. I don't feel good. And I was trying to explain that, look, I understand that sometimes bringing pain to the front can be pretty raw at times to handle, but maybe when that rawness subsides, if you ever want to bring it up, don't be afraid to message me. Again, it's important to talk. I'll say last night I watched a two-hour video of these two podcasts. Um, they do a lot of talks on YouTube and quite often listening to these kind of therapy-based things and these like conversational pieces bring a bit of clarity to your thoughts. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm handling this pretty well, pretty responsibly. Um, then it was a case of, well, actually, it's the stuff with my boyfriend. It's not major. He's not communicating. He's shutting me down. Please send me the videos. I'd like your help. Thanks, sweetheart. I appreciate the help. Thanks for these links. Uh, my brain is my own worst enemy. Um, I think me and X are going to break up, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's quite a lot going on there, and I don't really know this person. I know of them, and I'm trying to be nice. And I think it's very clear by my messages that I'm a normal human being. Um, and I've explained during this that I've been through times where people randomly shit on you, and it's not nice. And, you know, um, this is quite hard for me to post online because it's a bit, you know, it's not, not especially been a bloke online. It's not easy to post these things. People judge you differently, but I'm okay with that. I'm an honest person. So I said to this person that I was responding to, yeah, I'm the same. A lot of people misjudge me for something they think I'm not. But if they talk to me, they'll realize that I'm actually all right. Um, I explain a few private things that I have or have had to basically open up the metaphorical wound on myself and clearly show that i trust this person and they should trust me playing that thing and i say yeah often i'll slip back into darkness so to speak so i know it's really important to have a network of people to speak to or even just books or videos or something to just take your mind off it it's definitely important to catch it before you get really dark and then spiral into depression for weeks learning to spot it has come with time but it has been a huge help for me and over time, I've learned to see when and why it comes and help stop that. So I'm more than happy to chat about anything because often it can be quite relieving to talk about it. It might be difficult at first, but afterwards you'll feel relieved. But I'll be honest, I find trust hard to believe. So it takes a long time for me to let someone like you into that circle. And I'm very quick to push people out for that reason probably why you say i have such a short fuse for people talking shit online is because i don't want that person in my circle you no know, so that's very clear that's me explaining look i've let you into my circle here it's very clear that i'm explaining some stuff honestly and candidly and openly and the reason when somebody starts a massive pile on me shit post thread or account or rings family or whatever they're doing the reason i push them away immediately is because it's very clear having been a bit older that that person isn't somebody i want or need around a lot of people get upset or frustrated that i might block them or kick them away and it's just very simple i'm very quick to 
drop people off when I'm like, yeah, I've given that person a chance. They're clearly not somebody I'm ever going to want in my private circle that I can talk, talk candidly about, so I don't have them. I keep my circle very small, and all of the people that are in my circle, I could tell them pretty much anything, and I know it would be, how do I word it, they wouldn't judge me. Nothing really got responded to with that post. A week passes, and there's still a lot more posts and a lot more de like depression-based things going on, and I said, hey, XXX, blah, 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 are you okay? Um, is there anything you want to get off your mind or something? You seem a bit down again. No, it's fine. Just thought me and my boyfriend again were going to break up. And I said, oh, well, I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to voice that to me. I guess I can't really say that because that would kind of reveal who the person is. But I would just basically think of it as like this. Hey, if you ever want any work doing from the office because you're really busy, maybe I can help out with that. Just give me a bell. That kind of vibe, right? Um, Thanks. I really appreciate you. Come and play with us sometime. Come and talk, etc., etc. Um, and then I said to them, this this was months and months later, hey, I'm having a big social media clear out, a big social media break. I want to reach out and reiterate that I've unfollowed everybody um, and I've made a new account. It's got nothing to do with you and I hope everything goes better for you and it is going better. I think that was like the best conversation, the most honest, professional conversation I've ever done in my life, bro. Like there was nothing wrong with that conversation. And I've never spoke to this person again since, right? And then yesterday they open up um, willingly or unknowingly, you know, maybe I could have done better and asked for clarification. But again, I've explained myself to this person that I have a very short fuse when it comes to this stuff and I'm very quick to kick people out. Because when I see a thread with lots of people shitting on me and this person then not defending me and saying, hey, hold on a minute. I know this person. This person's a decent person. He's helped me with X and Y. Or maybe they don't want to reveal that information, which is entirely understandable. But they could say, hey, knock it off. I know this person's fine. But no, they let it build and build and, you know, more and more shit got thrown my way. And it's surprising that somebody would do that. And that, to me, just signifies they don't really respect the time I put in there. You know, this was over the course of all the way from August 2021 to November 23 2020 so you know a good what's that like nine months or something you know a good nine months of on-off conversations and detailed help you know um whether it only took me five or ten minutes to respond isn't the point that's me giving my time and thinking properly about my answers and trying to help somebody and that should count for something but evidently that doesn't count for anything and this is the point i'm making is of all of this conversation, this is exactly why people get depressed and this is exactly why people get down. Because take me, for example, now I'm thinking in the next person that pops up for help, I don't want to, I don't want to help them. I don't want to open up and explain things because they're probably just going to do that same thing again. And then you have less people to talk to and that's how it spirals out of control. So it's very, very important to like understand who you're talking to, to get the gist of it and not throw it completely back in their face. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going to cut you off and move on. That's how it, that's how I function. You might not like it. You might not understand it. I'm telling you that's how it functions. If I spend all of that time and energy explaining like deeply personal issues that I've had in my life that I've told very few people about, and you can't even give two seconds of your time to say, hey, actually stop shitting on this person. He's completely fine and everyone just knock it off if i don't see that from you i'm moving on now i'm not saying i need all my friends to be defenders of me but if i saw loads of people shitting on my friend um about certain things and i knew they were good and honest and decent i'd be like whoa hold on it this ain't right but this person didn't do that now i can accept some blame the blame on my part is when this happened, maybe I could have DM'd the person and said, hey, what's going on? Um, you know I'm fine. You know I'm a decent person. Why are you letting all these people shit on me? Or, hey, did you realize that when you made that tweet, that makes me look like a right dick and everyone's going to shit on me and you still didn't defend me? Or, I, you know, blah, blah, blah. I could have done those things, but that isn't me. 
and I'm not really going to apologize for being me. So my my perspective was, look, I don't think this person is somebody I can fully trust. I don't really know them that well, so I can just move on. And I told the person, look, hope everything's fine, hope everything's well, but next time, as my dog waking up, next time you want some help, don't bother fucking messaging me. And I've blocked that person because I'm, I'm just not interested in that, that energy anymore. Again, the block symbol isn't a symbol of, hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, is the It's not a symbol of, hey, I hate you, I've blocked you. It's just, bro, I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see my feed filled with more, um, you know, posts about how I'm struggling. And then, you know, because what I then think is you're posting all these things about how you're struggling but actually you don't want help and you don't respect people that give you the help. So I don't want to give, give that help because I'm the type of person that if I see somebody posting about that type of stuff, I try to reach out and help. I've done it to people that you wouldn't expect, even people that you might think, oh, he hates that person, etc. No, uh, I try to be honest and reach out. So I just thought this was a, an interesting 30 minute or 20 minute talking point. Maybe you're in your truck at work. Maybe you're bored listening to a podcast out on a walk. Um, appreciate it um thanks very much for listening um so yeah it's it's just a strange one it sucks that you can put that much effort in uh that much time um it might not seem like a lot of time but you know re just even taking two or three hours out which it was more than that even taking two or three hours out of your time to help somebody and then them then not being able to back you up i was just like yeah i'm done with that so you can tell how these um mental health issues are spiraling out of control because people are willing to throw each other under the bus for a few likes to say oh well i'll just absolutely shit on this person because i know the rest of the people don't like him easy likes easy comments easy retweets forgetting the fact what someone's done forgetting the fact that they've opened up that they don't genuinely enjoy the internet shitting on them for obvious reasons and just to not defend i thought yeah it's a, it's a bit bad look i want to make this perfectly clear um, at the end of this video before anyone clips anything out of context that i'm not that fussed about this conversation um at the end of the day i could have left it i could have just thought that was a dumb as fuck tweet that's brought a load of shit on me i'll ignore it i didn't actually know about the tweet until somebody told me about it it wasn't like i saw it and was in enraged someone just told me about it and i just thought that's a shame I've definitely helped that person and they can't even say a single nice word about me. Okay, time to move on and ditch that um, conversation slash energy going into that person. So that's all it was. I'm not that bothered. It doesn't keep me, have me, have me having sleepless nights and uh, yeah, it weren't bothering me. I just thought I'd use it as a talking point because it's interesting um, and you can see why people struggle to trust other people because now I'm sat here thinking, I don't particularly want to open up that much more than my closed circle and i think it's why as you get older you just don't really have many acquaintances you just have like your your two or three small group i feel like um <clears throat> but yeah that was the talking point i guess of today's video um it's a shame because i thought that person was sound but we move on again no hate towards the person it doesn't bother me for all intentions and purposes they just did a simple tweet i've read far too much into it blown it out of proportion you could say but i i don't think i did i think it was very clear that it was a bit disrespectful in a way and i can't be asked with that so that's what it is um sorry if that was a bit he said she said kind of vibe but it's very difficult to do it without i don't want to post screenshots because that would just reveal names and stuff and blah 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 but yeah it is what it is thanks very much for watching have a great day um as always videos go up at 7 p.m on this channel so if you're ever bored check the channel at 7 p.m if there is a new video great you've got something to watch if not then i guess it's another 7 p.m for you to tune into